What is going on, everybody? Oh. It is Pixel Butters here, and welcome back to Phoenix Red Duel Destiny's Moon Left Off. Some crap's going down in this school, and we got to figure out what the heck's going on in this school and what Junie knows. And we've also now been reminded that she was in the opening cutscene. <laughs> yes, as I was, because it's something that you don't really think about, because when you're watching the opening cutscene, you know, you kind of see characters, but you don't, you don't think to look. Yeah, you don't. Like, pay attention to like the detail of their yeah, faces. Yeah, but I noticed when I was editing it back, I was like, oh, We're like, shit. wait a second. Oh, shit, the judge person. That's Junie. The, the, the uh, judge student <gasps> has a flower in their hair. Judge Junie. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so I almost wonder if like, I mean, I guess we'll figure things out, but maybe she wrote the story but, to tie it all together? But, I don't think my theory has any water no. in Earth's bridge anymore, as cool as I wish that could sound. I haven't seen you in ages, Junie. What's it been? Seven years or so? Yes, and I remember how you were always there for me, Athena. Um, maybe it's just me, but I wanted to ask why you seem so distant. Remember how you used to call me Athena? I liked it better that way. It felt like we were sisters, you know? Yes, but I'm student council president now. And as the student representative of Themis Legal Academy, I have to act properly. She was never this stiff and formal before. I knew you wanted to be a judge, and I didn't expect- but I didn't expect this. It's such a prestigious school, and you're in the judge course to boot. Yes, and Professor Court had been in charge of it until... well, you know. Oh, right. Professor Court was the professor in charge of Junie's course. Interesting. Mm. Constance Court. Hey, Apollo. What sort of teacher is Professor Court? If I had to sum her up in a single word, bitch, <laughs> I'd say she was amazing. A judge must always seek the truth. That was her mantra, and she used it in trying to fix what was wrong with our school. She was a beacon of hope in this dark age of the law. Uh-oh. What's wrong with your school? What did you do? What did you mean by that? Oh, uh, nothing. Never mind. Mmm. Mm. Thump, thump. Am I imagining things, or did I just de detect something in Junie's voice? Break out widget right now. <laughs> widget. <laughs> Sicker. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Court chose my script for the mock trial. Yep, she's a lying bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, you mean all those students in the, in the judge course had to submit a script? And yours was the one she selected? Wow, that's amazing, Junie! So she's the one that wrote the fucking thing! Yeah. Okay! Oh, th thank you. But now Professor Cord is... Who would do such a thing? Well, you're about to be on the stand again <laughs> for all this stuff. <sighs> well, not again, but like, well, again to us. <laughs> again yeah. to us, yeah. Just yesterday we were working together trying to get things ready. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Excuse me. There you go. Yeah. Are you all right, Junie? Maybe you should take it easy for a while. So she's still got that cough. Guess she's not as strong as she pretends to be. The mock trial. All right. Why do you need a script and a showdown between a lawyer and a prosecutor? Well, we were simulating a trial, so we needed a script as a framework. All the details about the incident and the people involved are included in the script. We also prepared a crime scene, photos, murder weapon, and other kinds of evidence. Well, you guys think of everything. Must be hard getting all that ready. Yes, well, it was only Professor Cord and I. After all, we didn't want the script or other elements of the mock trial to get leaked. We were the only ones in the entire school who knew all the details. Must have been a big pain in the... I mean, that must have been really difficult. <laughs> we wrote the script so the case could go either way. That way, the defense and the prosecution both had an equal chance of winning. Um. Who is okay. that? So I, I assume this is gonna be asshole number one or number two. Don't know which one's gonna uh, be which yeah. yet. <laughs> if you think that's all she's capable of, you got another thing coming. Huh? Who said that? My <laughs> God, he's so vicious. <laughs> oh God, what am I gonna give the guy on the right? Oh my god. Okay, so now I've got to make voices for these guys, so... He's so sweaty! Dude is tweaking out over there on the left, but... He's so sweaty! What am I going to give this guy on the right? Because <laughs> the, the the blue dude's the prosecutor, isn't he? 
Or is he? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know yet. But because I'm, I'm looking at their badges, and red dude has like a circular. I don't know, man. I don't know. But what should I give? What kind of voice should I give the guy on the right? But we don't know. Oh, it's him talking. That's right. Because he he was moving his lips beforehand. So uh, I don't. Uh, huh. Didn't think this far. Maybe ahead. like a younger Edgeworth. So if he is the defense, that'd be interesting. <laughs> I, but that's almost too much like me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, uh, and you are Phoenix, so. God, I don't. Uh, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, I can figure something out. Maybe I don't know. Uh, voices block. Voices block. Uh, is that a thing? It is now. Ah, ow! I hurt my pinky. Why? <laughs> it cracked on my skull. I know, but why? <laughs> hitting my so I don't know. Okay, um, um, um. Just look at that smug bastard. I know, Just right? Just think of a smug bastard voice. Ah, oh, God! Go too close to go, other voices. Go deep into the archives. <laughs> uh, um, uh. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to run out of things if I... Your brain is short-circuiting. Yes, it is. I can't think of anything, so you got to mix it up for me. I would have give him this... <laughs> Juniper's genius doesn't stop at her brilliant script. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> she gave an award winning performance as a defendant man! Oh my god! Uh, I think I found a ravel in my cords of steel. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hugh, Robin, aren't you going to introduce yourself to our guests? As student council president, I won't have you treating them rudely. Heh, <laughs> you read. I heard Mr. Wright was bringing a couple of guests with him. That would be you two, Apollo Justice and Athena Sykes. Yep, I'm Athena Sykes. <laughs> and I'm Apollo Justice. Nice to meet you. I'll pass on the handshake. I'm studying to be a lawyer. The name's Hugh O'Connor. Glasses <laughs> fixed. Glasses fixed. <laughs> I can see. Oh my god. But some call me Mr. Perfect because I never score less than 100% on tests. Ugh, most pretentious introduction ever! What's with his hand? Is it glued to the inside of his pocket or what? Yeesh! That'd be the first to apologize for Hugh's totally rude introduction! Sorry! Oh my god! Go men that's high! <laughs> oh Jesus, don't be too loud. I'm trying not to be too loud over here because, you know, we're in an apartment and it's 1.30 in the morning. Oops, I peeked my <laughs> Yes, you did. That was the loudest I've ever heard you in this thing. <laughs> I had caffeine. <laughs> Apparently. And I'm low on intro. sleep. I'm Robin Newman. I'm starting to be a prosecutor. Like the really cool kind that nails the bad guys. Hopefully you'll be able to, uh... No! <laughs> Where's my sincerity? So he makes pottery, too? And what's that brace-like contraption for? It's to fucking tone down my energy. Otherwise it'd be a wacky man and fill it bar man. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually probably what it's going to be for. So. Juni sure has made some uh, unusual friends. It's Springlock, so he can't freak the fuck out with his arms all the time. <laughs> oh my god. He's here with the lawyer and prosecutor in today's mock trial. And even though I wrote the script, I also played the part of the defendant. Huh. Final act in toward love triangle centered on campus she-devil Juniper Woods. Level-headed lawyer, course genius, and hot-blooded prosecutor, course student... We'll go head to head in a mock trial battle for the She Devil's Black Heart! Wait, these two are the guys who supposedly have a thing for Juni? <laughs> Juniper, come on. Your role's way beyond just that. That's right! The mock trial's just the start! She's also, she's also in the school festival's main event! <laughs> Live on stage, Juniper Woods! And the crowd goes bananas! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh my god! Whoa! I, just, as much as I want to do I that, know. I'm not going to wake up the entire city. If only we had <laughs> soundproofing. She's just We'd like, be in our own house. She's just like, oh, God. Oh, man. I'm, I'm supposed to sing at the school festival. All the other girls were too embarrassed to try out, so... My Junie's singing? On stage in front of people? Wow, she really has changed. Good Lord. Well, your performance. Let's talk about that one, huh? I was responsible for making everyone's stage costumes. Okay. Ooh. And this is what I'll be wearing. Memoir? Right. 
amazing, Junie, but then again, you were always good at that kind of thing. These constellations in particular are really something. Oh, um, thank you. One of my favorite things to do is to look up at the stars in the middle of the forest. Huh, so you're a fan of that sky then? The night sky is really pretty. Wow, Apollo, didn't know you were such a romantic. It's it's not like that. <laughs> I have this friend, and I go way back. We got me really interested in space. Wait, you had friends when you were young? Color me surprised. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> As student council president, I cannot allow such mean-spirited teasing to continue. Eh, I think she's angry. Stage costumes. Okay, that's gonna be important, apparently. The costumes were no problem, but as for singing, I'm not sure I... No! You can do it! <laughs> That's right, and anyone who says otherwise will have to answer to me. It's like a chivalrous love triangle. A damsel in distress and two knights in shining armor. Yeah, that's, that's being generous to them. <laughs> I know. Maybe that Themis Herald article wasn't too far from the truth. I also think I was, like, literally, I think his contraption it, it, those are springs it's literally to keep him fucking put together so he doesn't explode so, in a fit of physical it's like a stylish straight jacket <laughs> in a way I think it's spring load so he can't go he can't raise his arms because he'll be like because he'll accidentally punch someone <laughs> that's why someone. he's like that he's like this is as far as I can go because he's just like just permanently like there's just one horrible incident where he broke someone's jaw by uppercutting this dude in has, excitement. This dude <laughs> has Red Bull running through his veins. <laughs> just That's why he's red. <laughs> just my god. Speaking of the latest news, I wonder how that mock trial turned out. So uh who why well, it sounded like they stopped it though. Mm. That's what they made a sound. So how did the mock trial end? By murder. <laughs> we were just about to reach a verdict when the police arrived. Now we'll never know how it would have turned out. I guess that's what happens when there's a real murder during a fake murder trial. It ended right before the verdict? Talked about bad timing. <laughs> I'm just a close man! I bet I would have won! I really hope you can fix my uh, volume. Oh no, it'll, it'll it'll still be compressed, so it won't blow out the audience's ears. Okay. You'll just sound very strange because it'll just sound like. Oh, yeah, so you like won't that. be able to tell what I. What I well, no, said. you'll be able to tell what you said, but it's gonna sound like it was being screamed through a can at the same time. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I got so into it. Yes, you like, did. Like I forgot where I was. I'm not even kidding. I noticed. I forgot where I was. Okay. <laughs> but I bet the That's how was... you know your your voice acting. That's how you know yeah. you're in the zone when you forget that you're in an apartment. Yeah. But I bet the defense wasn't doing too badly either, right? Hmm. We'll settle this some other time. And I assure you, I will win when that time comes. I'm going to let that happen. I don't think so. I hope they don't end up hurting each other. Oh, don't worry. The three of us have been good friends since we were enrolled here. <laughs> we even have proof of our friendship. Proof? Like, physical evidence proof? Yes, we're studying for a career in law, and in the legal world, evidence is everything. Yeah! As long as a friendship lasts, you can bet we'll be carrying them around. Oh my god. Ah, the famed Themis Legal Academy Ingenuity at work. So, what exactly is this proof of friendship anyway? The death of our professor. <laughs> well, it's a secret, and if I show you, I would be—it would be bad luck. You guys have like a like a like a blood pact or some shit going on? What the fuck is this? <laughs> a secret? Oh, uh, okay. I knew it. There's definitely some discord in Junie's voice. Oh. Our friendship is sacred and invaluable. It's not something to be put cheaply on display. This is a blood pack. <laughs> proof? We don't need no stinking proof. Let's be our friends forever. Oh my god. Forever. I can hear Discord in their voices too. Uh oh. But they're talking about their friendship. What's going on here? Something Apollo, wrong with you? They're <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> something wrong with you? No, it's uh, it's nothing. Oh. All right, then. Hey, isn't that... Oh, God. Um, 
Mm, well, I, it's not gumshoe anyway, but you know, I must. Everyone stay right where you are. Don't move a muscle. Oh, it's hopeful thinking. It's, yeah, I yeah, know it's, it's him, him, but I want to get the gumshoe out of the way first. <laughs> <laughs> the Detective Fulbright? Is something wrong? I knew a detective was going to come walking in. It's just not the right one. I stay missed. right where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Why, if it isn't my little lawyer friends? Sorry, but the small talk will have to wait. Jeez. I'm taking in Juniper Woods because she's a suspect of murder. <laughs> God damn it, I call it from a mile away. <laughs> Juniper Woods, you're under arrest for the murder of Constance Court. I'm what? what? Wait a second, what's going on here? Why are you arresting Junie? Please, Detective Fulbright. We're involved in this case too. Ha <laughs> ha! So you're the lawyers the dispatch said were first on scene. I can't tell you everything, but I will say this. There are two major reasons for her arrest. Number one. The suspect led everybody it led somebody Whoa. to where the body was. I, I didn't! Yeah, number two. The crime scene is exactly how the suspect portrayed it in her script. But you can't arrest her on just those grounds? True, but there's more. Uh However, Prosecutor Blackwell speedily told me to not say no more than that. So Blackwell's the prosecuting attorney on this one, too? Oh, Dr. Fulber, I found this in the suspect's pocket! Uh... Hmm, what was it? There's blood on this! Th that's the evidence we made for the mock trial! A mock trial? Never heard of such a thing, but it sounds fishy to me. Real fishy! Now, if you would, officers. Yes, sir. <laughs> but, but, I, <coughs> Judy, I have to do something. I, I can't let them take her away like this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. <laughs> hey. He, she just tackles him. And then gets arrested. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get caught. Yes. She's the killer! Junie! I've decided. I'm going to defend you. I'll fight with everything I've got. Uh, Dina. Junie, it's good to hear you say that name again. Yaw. Hate to interrupt your bonding time, but, uh, <laughs> hey, aren't you rather new to all this? You're barely even a lawyer. Well, I don't have much experience, and I may need Apollo and Mr. Wright's help at times. But nobody believes in Junie as much as I do. Oh, hold on there now. I'll help you too, Juniper. There's no way you're murder your professor. Tina. <laughs> Apollo. Thank <coughs> you both. I'm counting on you. <coughs> Put your back, Junie! Don't die! <laughs> Please! Guess things worked out after all. Now that you have your lawyers, Miss Woods, it's time for us to head back to the station. You're going in the clink. Oh my god. I can't believe Junie's been arrested for murder. And I can't believe I accepted her case without asking Mr. Wright. Take a deep breath and relax, Athena. <sighs> I'm here to help with whatever you need. So let's get right to the case. <coughs> Oops. Right! I won't have this case left in the hands of rank amateurs. If anyone's going to solve this case, it'll be me. Time to investigate. Oh, God. <laughs> His voice is fun. Why that smug little... He hasn't even finished law school. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that was totally rude. <laughs> and you're the ones who did on that case, man. I'm in too big time. Juniper Woods, I'm going to save you. Oh my god. Now that those two are gone, let's get back to what I was talking about in front of the stage. About the mock trial, that is. Oh right, you said the victim's location, position, and so on were just like the script? Exactly, but without the script or any props, it's kind of hard to explain. <gasps> hey! We know who that is! Wait, 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 wait. We know wait, who wait, that is. Wait, wait. What? Wait, is that Okay, that's not who I was expecting. Why? <laughs> I didn't th I didn't think it was going to be in Cuz remember what is he there was going to there was going to be a star prosecutor. Oh, not uh, not the one I was thinking, but this one also works, I suppose. Yeah. Perhaps I could help. 
Air forehead. Hey, what's My up, dude? My God. Hey Look there, at you. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> but pressing it again. There's what are you that team we know and love. <laughs> You two seem to know each other. Is someone going to introduce me? You oh yeah, she doesn't let's know. Not, let's, let's, <laughs> let's not, let's not, let's not. Why, I do believe we have a fresh face here. Greetings, Fraulein. I am Clavier Gavin. Some know me as a prosecutor, but I'm most famous for my former rock band. We were quite popular, you know, but regrettably the band went kaput. Mm. Perhaps you've heard of us, the Gavineers. I was the lead vocalist. <laughs> Never heard of your band. Then again, I was out of the country till only recently. But can I get your autograph? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you just met him like three seconds ago, and you want his autograph? Forgive me, Fraulein, but I've retired from the music biz. Aw. But I'd be happy to offer my autograph as rock star prosecutor Clavier Gavin. Oh, okay. That one then. <laughs> She's a lively one, I her forehead. Didn't know she was your type. <laughs> She's the newest member of Write Anything Agency, that's all. Mm. Nice to meet you! I'm Athena Sykes! Pleasure to meet you too, Athena Sykes. Now that the intros are out of the way, I'm sure you have some questions for me, eye or forehead. He looks huh? really good in 3D. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, why are you here? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you doing here, Prosecutor Gavin? He's an attractive man! I'm here for the man. same reason as your boss. To give a lecture in a training seminar. So he's the famous prosecutor they invited. And I have another crucial role to play. The Gavineers are getting back together for a one-time special performance. Oh. You know, we got What's-His-Face, Shark Face, it performing <laughs> live from prison through I'm Skype gonna call. I going to how's that going to work? <laughs> well, if they have Black Quill, you know, acting as a prosecutor, they could... Somehow, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't know. Even though you guys disbanded? Game which was logic. a shame, by the way. Really. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> well, wait, no, because wasn't he a fan, too? I think so. I don't I know. Did no, he, Trucy uh, was. Trucy was. I think he was just kind of like, Along oh, for yeah, the ride, huh? yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, shame. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how much you adored our music, Air Forehead. <laughs> anyway, I studied abroad in Germany to get my badge early, but I did graduate from here. Wait, so that performance Junie mentioned? I see you've already heard about that. One student representative was selected to sing with us on stage. Oh. And that stage was supposed to look like this tomorrow. Huh. Two big banners and a pair of wicked statues. This is just an illustration, but it's not half bad. Wicked statues? Wait, are these supposed to be you and Mr. Wright? Bingo, Fraulein. And they were so big and magnificent, too. What a terrible waste. Huh. But the worst part of this whole thing is... <sighs> my long way to reunion with my mentor never came to pass. Wait, don't tell me your mentor was... Professor Court. She was the one who taught me how to think about the law. Oh, wow. That sucks. Yeah. So, Constance Court was your professor here at the Academy. She may have taught the judge course, but she was a huge. She had a huge impact on me. She was fond of saying the end is only justified through proper means. She wouldn't tolerate dishonesty and always rever re revered what was right beyond all else. I can feel Prosecutor Gavin's sadness. Oh no, I think I'm gonna cry. Uh... Athena, are you tearing up? No. Though I can't blame you. Prosecutor Gavin knows a lot of who he is, Professor Court. Exactly. So as you can see, we are both joined in purpose, so to speak, yeah? Now, let's rock this place hard. Huh? I don't follow. Let's rock what? <laughs> Forget already, Air Forehead. I said I'd help you explain the mock trial. We're going to reprise it right here in the lecture hall. It might help us catch your killer. He's got huh. snippy snap at An snip. investigation that's going to involve replaying the mock trial that was written about what has been that's going on. That's so interesting. I think that's what's going on right here, at least. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Yeah. This is gonna be cool. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be <laughs> weird, but this, this is different, but I like it. <laughs> right. The stage is ready. And you, Air Forehead, ready to rock? <laughs> um, no, the defense is not ready to rock. You saw the face. actual mock trial earlier, right? 
Just relax, you'll do fine. Besides, we have the script right here. Junie's masterpiece? The one everyone's been talking about? Yeah, and there's only one in existence. I, uh, borrowed it, if you will. <laughs> now, Fraulein, we'll need you to play the part of defendant and judge as per the script. Okay, got it. I've only read the case outline so far. I don't know how it exactly turns out, so I'll treat this like I'm prosecuting a real case. Oh, dang. You, Air Forehead, will play the part of a Fred Fled fledgling, fledgling lawyer. <laughs> fledgling lawyer. A role you were born to play. Oof. All the evidence is also here with us. We have everything we need to reprise the mock trial. Très bien. Let's get started. Defendant slash Judge Athena Sykes is psyched and ready to rock. Court is now in session for our reenactment of the mock trial. Or what I'd like to call the mock mock trial. Mock 2? <laughs> in mock speed? <laughs> yeah, double mockery perhaps. But a trial is still a trial. Ah, don't, baby, it's no holds barred. Let's rock. Aw, <laughs> oh, can't we take it easy today? <laughs> no! It may just be a mock of a mock, but there's only one way to compete. You play to win. So remember, each time I catch you slacking off, I'm holding you in contempt of court! Great. <laughs> a judge just voices her own objections and abuses her judicial powers. <laughs> I love Athena so much. <laughs> She is great. She's so fun to voice, too. Because uh, since I chose to have her voice so close to mine, since she'd be a frequent thing, yeah, it's easy to focus more on the emotion and the acting than it is the voice part, you know? Oh, yeah. It's nice. Well, let's get the summary of the facts here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Prosecutor Gavin, your opening statement, if you please. Hang on, I need Mountain Dew Live Wire. Give me a second, Fraulein. Okay. <sighs> uh, you got it, Fraulein Judge. Our case is set in a school very much like this one. The victim, a professor, female. The defendant, an archery club member, also female. Oh me, oh my. I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. <laughs> That's some seriously bad acting, Fraulein. <laughs> anyway, the victim's body was discovered in the middle of the quad. Wow. Here's a shot of the crime scene. Ironically, it was Professor Court who posed as the corpse. Wow, that's eerie. Yeah, it is. I oh my god. I now I I thought that both her hands were above her head in the official one. Do we have that pic? Ah, uh, it's not with us. Shit. Yeah, but she has to like hold the arrow against her body. <laughs> yeah, but it would have been interesting if in the actual one she was holding her hand yeah. by the arrow there. But she so, can't uh, just stick a real arrow in her stomach and be like, okay. Yeah. Air Force. That Ed, is. How did mock trial participants react to this oh. photo? She was surprised by what Professor Court was wearing. Reacted with, oh, the green sweat, the green suit. Or the green sweat. The yeah, green it was sweat suit. Yeah. yeah, fucking die of the brain. <laughs> it's not exactly what I would pick to focus on, so why would he care about that? That might hold some importance, I guess. So. I thought hmm. it's called a track suit. I guess sweat suit works too. Yeah. Ah, uh, too much of a fudging to know what's important that one in any case. Both in the mock trial and the actual case, Professor Court was wearing a sweat suit. Moving right along. Oh god. Hey, wait a sec. The body was discovered in the same area as the mock case, although there was a stage. Plus the murder weapon and arrow and the lack of blood are also the same. Mm. That's right. And therein lies the significance of, the, of this mock mock trial. So let's keep rocking it hard just like that. Alright, uh, the defense's argument, I suppose. Oh. Before the crime occurred, the defendant was to meet with the victim in the quad. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. When I arrived at our meeting place, I found the professor with an arrow in her stomach. But it wasn't me. I didn't kill her. You don't have to <laughs> ham it up like that, Athena. <laughs> It's called getting into character, Air Forehead. Don't be such a wet blanket. <laughs> right? Um, let's see. Don't it's, get in, I, in, then you said. I'm acting, <laughs> acting. It's like, it's like, it's, it's acting within <laughs> an acting I just want to imagine he's a batter. It's like, and then he said, uh, frail co-ed used her bare <laughs> hands to stop, to stab her with the, yeah, an the, arrow. The I, did, I don't think so. 
<laughs> At the time of the murder, a male student was seen. It's like when you're in class. Holding a bow in the <laughs> archery club room, which has a clear view of the quad. And you listen to someone else <laughs> reading in the textbook as you're following yeah. along. And you're just like, can they not read? <laughs> Even though it's high school. He shot the arrow into a point finger at the <laughs> prosecution, the victim, before my client <laughs> even got there. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, I like that bit. Oh, God. Nine, nine air forehead. That faint swagger does not suit you in the least. <laughs> By God, man. Have you ever watched any kind of movie or TV? Were you not in drama club in school? <laughs> Jesus Christ, kid. <laughs> Note to self, you're not an extra in my music video next time. Get the fuck out. I thought you were tired. There's always a chance they can come back, but if so, you're not coming with me, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll be a lawyer then. That's what oh I do. Oh my God, Apollo. <laughs> Wait till I tell Trucy about this one. <laughs> okay, next time we're going to get back on track. <laughs> oh my God, that was great. <laughs>